students welcome back to rosie maths class in this video we are going to solve question number 9 of figure it out given on page number 73 chapter 3 number play this question is based on collatz conjecture that you have learned in 3.10 so the question is check if the collatz conjecture holds for the starting number 100 which means that does collatz conjecture holds true for 100 that means if you start from 100 are we going to reach 1 by using the rules so the rules are if it's an even number then you have to take half of it that means you need to divide it by 2 if it's an odd number you need to multiply the number by 3 and then add 1 and you need to go on continuing these steps till you get the number 1 till we reach 1 we need to continue doing this So let's get started. First, we will start from hundred. That's an even number. So take half of it. Half of hundred is fifty. Fifty even number. Half of fifty, twenty-five. Twenty-five is odd number. So we need to multiply by three and then add one. So twenty-five into three plus one. Seventy-five plus one is seventy-six. So that number would be seventy six. This is an even number. Half of this would be two three is a six sixteen eight thirty eight. Thirty eight even number. Divide by two. That would be nineteen. Nineteen is an odd number. So multiply by three and add one. So you would get nineteen three fifty seven one fifty eight. Fifty eight even number. Divide by two. That is. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine is odd number. So twenty-nine into three plus one. Nine three is a twenty-seven. Two three two is a six seven eight, and that would be eighty-eight. Eighty-eight is even number. So that would be forty-four. Take half of it. Forty-four even number. Divide by two. Twenty-two even number. Divide by two. Eleven. Eleven odd number. Eleven into three plus one. Eleven three is a thirty-three plus one, thirty-four. Thirty-four even number. Divide by two. Seventeen. Seventeen odd number. So seventeen into three plus one. So fifty-one plus one, fifty-two. Half of fifty-two. Twenty-six, even number. Half of twenty-six, thirteen. Odd number, thirteen into three plus one. So that's thirty-nine plus one, forty. We need to go on doing this till we reach one. Forty, even number. Half of forty is twenty. Half of twenty is ten. Half of ten is five. Five is an odd number. So five threes are fifteen plus one sixteen. Even half of sixteen, eight. Half of eight is four. Half of four is two, and half of two is one. See, finally we have reached one. And how many numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So here we have twenty-six numbers. Okay, and we have reached one. So the answer is yes. The Collatz conjecture holds for the starting number hundred. This is a very important question from the exam point of view. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.